There's no doubt about it. Cypher's working on something in Central Africa. There's evidence they've been in contact with private forces operating in the region. We follow that evidence. We should learn what Cypher is after. Diamond Dogs has gotten a lot bigger. Now's the time to take the offensive. Head back to the ACC for your next mission. Please select a landing zone before. Roger. against us having it in the first place, but that was Snake's decision. The boss wasn't responsible. Well, don't get me wrong, I, I still believed in Snake. Please I thought I you. was making the best decision for all of us, that's all. I figured we should get a third party to exonerate us before proof of the... <laughs> Deploying. Angola's Mfinda oil field, upstream from the landing point. A spill has covered the whole area in crude. A pipeline that crosses the Muneni River failed, and now the shore's a mess. Not to mention the villages downstream have no drinking water. to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight-up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mafinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. Then the rebel group Unita moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. United's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on United can tell us who's pulling its strings.
First, make your way to the oil facility. It's to the north, past Buala Yamasa. The village is currently occupied by Unida, so stay sharp. The war industry we started has taken a pretty crooked course these past nine years. With no other options, soldiers have become dogs of war, sent to conflict zones as private forces, or PFs. Guys we fought alongside are dying all around the globe for no reason. No banner. But it's how they survive. The demand for PFs here in Africa is especially high. Cold War standoffs, resource exploitation, tribal clashes. What's big business for developed countries has only brought conflict here. That mess you're standing in is just the latest example. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Marker placed. Outside the mission area. Caution, you are about to leave the mission area. Caution, you are about to leave the mission area. Detected. The map has been updated. Boss, destroy the oil facility and stop the flow of oil. Head north through the village, and you'll find the facility further on. You've arrived at Masa Village. It's been turned into a supply hub for Unida, meaning it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Should be a thing or two that'll come in handy. Don't be shy. They deserve to be in better hands.
Caution, rain approaching. Yeah. Yeah. 
settlement. Now it's burned to the ground. Stop button is probably inside it.
confirmed. Update. Next, destroy the oily water separator tank. That'll ensure they can never use the facility again. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. What is the situation? Are you near the stone bay? Supply drop complete.
post captured. Completed your objective. Now get out of the hot zone. Please select a landing zone. Support helicopter. Requested.
Just for you. It features a silent running system, great for infiltration missions, and you can also summon it to your location. I've taken the liberty of calling it the D-Walker. It's armed with a suppressed tranquilizer gun. If you want to add other weaponry or upgrade the chassis, give the order from your iDroid. <laughs> 